In this video, we'll explore how you can create a presentation from scratch using Keynote, Apple's multimedia presentation tool. It is very, very similar to PowerPoint. If you are comfortable using PowerPoint, you will find it highly intuitive when you come to use Keynote because the layout and the tools are almost identical. We'll have a look at how you can add slides, how you can put content on the slides, how you can reorganize the slides, and then we'll have a look at how you can animate objects that are on the slides. And finally, we'll finish off with some fascinating transitions. As with all presentations, planning is absolutely vital. We're going to assume that you have planned the structure of your presentation and have probably planned what you'd like to say when it comes to each slide. On our iPad, let's open up Keynote and click on Add in the top left hand corner to create a new presentation. The next stage we need to do is select a template. This is important that you choose the right one now because it cannot be changed. Let's just type in our title and click and add a subtitle if required. And in the bottom left hand corner, we can now tap to add a new slide and we can repeat the process. To add content to our slide, let's click on the Add sign in the top right hand corner. We can browse to our pictures and we can now select one of our images, tap it and it will appear on our slide. We can use the blue handles to decrease and change the size of the image and simply drag it into place. Notice that you get invisible guidelines so it will help you snap it horizontally or vertically. Let's go back and add an image to our title slide. But this time we're going to need to make it larger and arrange it using the formatting paintbrush so that it is behind the text. Now grab hold of the blue handles and we can change the size of it. And there is our title slide. Now let's add some animations to our text. So select the text box, click on animate in the menu that appears. And now we can animate the text coming onto the screen or leaving it. We can also use our options or our delivery to decide whether it arrives at once or by bullet or by bullet group. And we can repeat this for other objects in our presentation. Keynote has one particularly stunning transition effect and it's called Magic Move. With Magic Move it makes it look as if objects magically move from one location on a slide to another location on another slide. The trick to making this work is to have two identical slides even though the objects are positioned differently on the second slide. Let's have a look. Here is a slide with four images. With Magic Move, each image is going to appear larger in turn and then revert back to its original size. Magic Move is a transition 
it is not an animation. Transitions apply from one slide to another. To do this, let's select the slide in the slide sorter on the left hand side of our screen. Now we're going to click on the spanner up in the top right hand corner and we're going to choose transitions and builds. In the list that appears, select magic move. You'll notice that Keynote automatically asks us if we'd like to duplicate the slide because we need to move the content on the second slide to a new location. Click on yes. Here's our duplicated slide and now all we do is take the first object that we want to move to a new location and relocate it. Now we'll need to just take this picture and arrange it so that it is in front of all the other images. So we'll just click on the format brush, click on arrange and drag the slider so that this image is now in front of all the others. We're going to take this slide and apply another transition and build and choose magic move again. Again duplicate this slide. Now we need to move the large image back into place and we'll select the second image and repeat the process. And we'll simply repeat this for the third and fourth images on this slide. Our presentation is ready, so let's click on the play icon in the top right hand corner. And click to move through the animations and the next slide will have our magic move. Hopefully that's shown you just how easy it is to create a presentation in Keynote.